Hi, welcome to another short session uh, of ours. Uh, so in this session, uh, we want to explain one of the motor vehicle um, deduction method, uh, sense per kilometer method. So in a later session, we'll also add um, the log method. But in this short online session, we are mainly focusing on sense per kilometer method. All right. Um, let's continue. All right. So again, my qualifications here and a brief introduction about myself. Uh, if you're interested in our wealth planning and asset protection and estate planning services, um, please feel free to contact us as well. Okay, before we go to the main content, I just want to mention that uh, all information provided here is for general purposes only. So before you make any decision, uh, contact an experienced tax agent. All right, so let's start. So let's have a quick look of what is a uh, sense per kilometer method. So basically, for every kilometer you're traveling for work purposes, uh, you can claim um, uh, based on the uh, sense per kilometer in that relevant year. So from 2022 to 23, next year is going to be 78 cents. Yeah, we also listed um, how much you can claim for the past years. Uh, the most recent tax year was 72 cents for the 2021 to 22 uh, tax year. All right. Okay, so under this method, you can claim a maximum of 5,000 kilometers. So that's the main difference between this one and the logbook method. Yeah. Um, so there's a cap. Yes, yeah, so, uh, you can't go over uh, the total number of kilometers. And then to calculate your deduction, simply multiply uh, the number of business kilometers uh, by the um, cents, okay, the rates per kilometer for that income year. And then uh, um, if you and another drunk owner use a car for separate income, okay, to generate uh, or for, for your um, own like separate jobs, then you can each claim up to a maximum of 5,000 business kilometers. This is something important a lot of people don't know. Yeah, so you can actually share one car, husband or wife, uh, you can use the same car and each claim 5,000 kilometers, the maximum, okay? If you do drive, drive that much uh, for your job, okay? Or business purpose. <laughs> okay, so what records do you need to keep? So, the cents per kilometer method, you don't need to keep any receipt. So that's one of the easier part. Okay, that's um, a lot of people uh, use this method because they prefer. Yeah, I don't need to keep any receipt. Um, and uh, but you do need to be able to show how you work out your business kilometers. So for an example, uh, every time you travel for work purposes, you record in a diary, and then there's a uh, my deductions app. Uh, from ATO, yeah, you can use the app to record the total kilometers you traveled. Okay, then on top of um, the cents per kilometer, yeah, um, the rates multiplied by the kilometers you traveled, you can't claim any other expenses. Okay, so what we have listed, uh, the common expenses here, so um, you can't add any of these expenses on top of the race. It's actually quite common when we help our clients with their returns after they have chosen the, uh, the sense per kilometer method because they didn't uh, keep a logbook for the year. And sometimes people ask, oh, how can I claim my petrol cost? So the answer is you can't, okay? Because um, you, you can only claim the petrol cost separately if you are using logbook method. So sense per kilometer method, you know, the 72 cents uh, based on last year's rate, uh, 72 cents per kilometer, that's basically covering everything already, yeah, including all the expenses listed here, just combined as 72 cents per kilometer. Once you, you, you do that, and then you can't claim any other expenses on the top, all right? So that's one of the limitations for cents per kilometer method. So I guess compared to Logbook method, the main advantage uh, here is uh, it's very easy to use. Yeah, you don't need to keep a log the logbook. Um, 
So it's very simple. You don't need to keep the receipts. Uh, calculation is very easy. Yeah, but but on outside, the maximum you can claim uh, is only 5,000 kilometers. And then when you look at the calculation rates, last year, 72 cents multiplied by the maximum of 5,000 kilometers, the maximum you can claim uh, on the deduction, the dollar value is only 3,600. Okay, so it's actually not a lot compared to using local method, yet potentially you can claim a lot. Uh, all right, so that's everything about sense per kilometer method. If you have any questions, um, contact us. This is my contact details here. Um, so thank you for uh, watching this session. Uh, we'll see you the next time.